I feel like it's been a while since we've covered some free games, so here's the latest batch of free VR games that I've discovered. A Show of Kindness is a beautiful artistic journey in which you go through an unfolding story frozen in time. It was created in Tilt Brush and it's incredibly impressive. When you start it up, it does take a while to load, but it's totally worth it. If you have used Tilt Brush in the past, then you have to see this. After doing so, you'll feel inspired to start painting right away. Age of Sail is the latest film from Google Spotlight Stories. All of the films from this series are great, but this is perhaps the best one yet. Runtime is 11 minutes, and within those 11 minutes is both exciting and emotionally moving. You simply have to watch it, it's amazing. If you haven't seen the previous Google Spotlight Stories, I'll link to my review of those below. Angelus Brand VR Experience has two games inside, a basketball game and an obstacle course game, but in my opinion the obstacle course is the good stuff. If you've played Unbreakable VR Runner, then you'll feel right at home here. You're drifting forward in an ever-changing obstacle course which requires you to dodge walls and objects while trying to collect the paint cans. It's quite challenging and physically engaging as it requires you to quickly strafe and squat to avoid getting hit. If you see a window approaching, be sure to punch it so you can pass through safely. And try to avoid hitting the floating paint blobs or they'll obstruct your vision. For a free obstacle course, it's really fun and highly replayable. Diorama number one, Blocked In, used to be a paid game, but now it's free. It's an environmental experience with no interaction, but it's still interesting and worth checking out. You observe an otherworldly interpretation of the office where Tetris was invented. It's got good graphics and sound design. For something different, it's a fun little escape. Poker Stars VR is a high-end social poker game. I'm sure that you've played poker before, so I won't go over that. What really impressed me is the level of polish and everything inside the game. For example, in the environments there's quality character animation happening in the background, with great graphics and ambience. At the game table itself, there are many props you can summon, like selfie cams, firework guns, and smoking pipes. This kind gentleman gave me a free pipe and smoke during my first game. Thank you. No problem. There's no other card game like it right now. If you're a poker fan, then I highly recommend it. <laughs> VR Soccer Training claims to use an Xbox Kinect to move your character so you have full body animation inside an arcade soccer game. Unfortunately, I don't have a Kinect at home, so I can't vouch for how well it works. But if you have a Kinect, give it a shot and let me know. You've summoned fire to your fingertips. The Runes Interactive Trailer is a free sample of a larger game. This free sample is unique in the way that it feels like a movie trailer that you're living inside of. There are some decisions to make and a little bit of magic combat. It's pretty cool and worth a free download. Short Circuit VR is an electronics lab simulator. Using a variety of components, you can build your own electronic circuits. There's optional challenges to complete, or just enjoy making whatever you want. It's a nice little simulator. Little Roads is a bridge building game. An endless stream of vehicles is leaving a tunnel and you need to help them reach the goal. You have a few different road pieces at your disposal. Place those pieces in whatever pattern you like to get the vehicles across the chasm to the door on the other side. It's not a difficult game, but it is fun. Spare Teeth VR is a quirky mix of bowling and mini golf. After sending the bowling ball toward the pins, you can use the trackpad to aim where the ball is going. 
And beginning in level 3, things get really interesting with curvy paths and blind spots. This is a fun challenge that's full of personality. Flatland VR is an asymmetrical multiplayer game with one player in VR and another on the same computer using a gamepad. The player on the PC is a flat hexagon living in a maze. The hexagon player must retrieve the prize in the middle and then escape the maze. But there are evil red triangles trying to kill the hexagon player. So the VR player grabs a cube and a sphere to use like boxing gloves to stamp out and kill the triangles. But the VR player has to watch out for floating enemies that are coming for them as well. It's a strange but enjoyable multiplayer game. Also, you should know that you'll need a wide room scale for the VR player to reach all of the maze. Color Your Reality is a short puzzle game that's all about color sequencing and platforming. In each stage, you need to bring a colored key to the matching door, but you'll need to solve some pathfinding puzzles to reach the keys. And you'll have to figure out how to paint things different colors and why you should paint them. If you're a puzzle fan, then you should definitely try this. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!